I mean, this is a new team, right? And and we we've got um, we got some shit to us, for for lack of better words. So, um, you know, we don't look to the past. Um, we we do know that this is a heck of a team that has been there. We know, um, you know, we we know what they've been doing, and we know who they are. Uh, they're they're a really good team. They've got really good players, and we know we have to come out from the start, and, and we have to execute. We can't we can't hurt ourselves um, if if we want to be in this game and win. Um, because if we do, then we know we're going to be behind the eight ball, and it's tough to come back. What's, CJ, what's or why is this team better to go on the road in Baltimore? Than, than team? Uh, Again, it's just, it's, it's a multitude of things. You can't just pinpoint one thing, I think. Um, I think, you know, over the course of the few years that, you know, this coaching staff's been there, they've, they've been, been here, they've been, um, they've been preparing us for this, for moments like this, for years like this, seasons like this, um, and games like this. So I think, you know, with the veterans that we have, with the new players that we have coming in and kind of us setting the tempo and setting the bar and setting the standard and going into meetings and, and saying, all right, look, this is what we, we, we know we have to do um, because we know what they have, then I, I, I just think it's different. I think the mentality is just different than, than, um, than years past. How big is it to have, have played against this defense? Herbert just found out what it's like. I mean, it's hard to prepare for. It's like preparing for Jackson, you know, the, the, the speed of how he executes that defense, all the looks, the speed they execute hard to prepare for. If you've seen it, you're much more prepared for it. Like Herbert had never seen it right. before. Joe didn't see it last year. Right. How much is having some of that under your guys' belt collectively plus? I mean, I think it's huge. I mean, yeah, they, they, they come at you with a lot of stuff. And, 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 you know, they have a lot of free runners just because, again, Herbert, he hasn't seen that. He hasn't, you know, the zero blisses, the saws, the, the different things that they present. You know, it's, it's, it is tough if you, if you don't see it to be able to recognize it, to be able to, to come out and you know, get the protection right. Um, and yeah, I, I say this, you know, I'll say this till the cows come home that we have the smartest person on the field at all times, I firmly believe. And so um, we know that, you know, again, we know that they're going to they're gonna get us some looks that are going to be unconventional, but um, we trust that the line's going to pick it up, that Joe's going to be back there and see it, the back's going to pick it up, the Titans are going to pick it up, receivers, if they have to, are going to, you know, do what they need to do to pick it up and run routes. And um, yeah, I mean that's that's just, they're multiple, and, and when they are multiple, they, they they get free a little bit and and present problems for offenses that um, we're glad we get to see. How tough is it to establish rules, you know, for this defense because they do a lot of rule breaker things, I guess. You know, I mean, how, how different are rules for this game than for other games? Yeah, I think rule breakers for sure. It's, it's it uh, some of the looks get tough, um, but then at the same time, it's also kind of okay if they do this, then make sure you don't break your rules. Make sure you resort to what you know for certain protections, for certain checks. Don't, don't, don't go too far out of the box, right? Because if you start thinking about it too much, you go too far out of the box and you're leaving a defensive end or a defensive tackle free, then it's like, okay, well, we gotta, we gotta you know, take, take a deep breath here and relax and, and go back to the rules, go back to the basics. So um, we're gonna have a good plan um, to, to pick up things that, that they're gonna present for us. And I know, Joe B is going to be back there um, directing us in the right direction. Have you noticed the difference in his voice between Sunday and Sunday? It's the same. You, you have noticed yeah. <laughs> this team has brought in a, a whole bunch of new players in the last couple of years. Are, are there a specific trait or traits on the defensive side that you've noticed that uh, the new guys have brought in? No, just freaking ballers. I love watching. I mean, they're just <laughs> ballers out there. I, uh, I hated going against Trey Hendrickson. During camp, I hated it. I was just like, "This is the worst." This is, I mean, I hated it at the time. I'm like, "Wow, this is getting me better," but I'm like, "Man, this guy, he's a problem." Um, and you see that. I mean, he talked, he talked trash to me. Like, they're like, like I'm like, "Wait, what the God? What are you talking about?" Um, and you see it, and it pays off. And um, he competes. Uh, and then Cheeto, Cheeto's an athletic freak. He's an animal. I love watching him. I love watching our defense play. Like, it's it's fun, and it it brings. Not only me, the entire offense, the team, excitement, seeing them do well, and I, I know that, you know, they're on the side, thinking the same thing about our offense when we, you know, hit big plays and when we score, um, you know, it just we build off of each other, and you can tell, like you can tell on the sideline when we when we make big plays, offensively, defensively, special teams, everyone's excited, everyone's in on it, and uh, but yeah, our defense, there, there's some there's some animals. CJ, last year, I mean, the past is in the past, and a lot of athletes love to say that, but last year. The scoreboard said Ravens 65 and 6. Is that a motivating factor at all? 
again, I, I, uh, I didn't play in those games, so I, I, that isn't in my mind at all. I'm not sure other players. Um, but as, a, as an athlete, I think you do have to have short-term memory uh, with things like that, and um, that could be a motivating factor for them. My motivation is to get to the Super Bowl because I said I want to get to the Super Bowl and, and get a ring. Um, so that is my motivation for, for, for wanting to, to win this game because it's a pivotal game if we want to get to where we want to be. Um, so I'm not sure how other guys, guys view it. They, they might you know, use that as fuel, use that as motivation, but that's just kind of not how I'm wired. What you say you got some shit to y'all? What does that mean exactly? I mean, I don't know. Do you, do you see it? A little bit? How would you describe it in your words? How would I what? How would you describe it in your words? Something we can actually put on TV. And <laughs> uh, yeah, that's why I said for lack of better words. I don't, I don't 100%. I mean, it's just, you know, we got some ball. I mean, you see Jamar Chase running down the field, springing a block against the safety for for Joe Mixon. That's, that's having some shit to you. That's having... Some, all right, I'm going to make sure that my guy gets in the end zone. We don't care who scores. I do not care who gets the ball and who scores in the end zone as long as we win the game. That is all I care about is winning. And that's all any of us care about is winning the game. Um, and that's something that, I mean, it's, it's not unique. You know, I, I think every guy wants to win, but sometimes, I mean, it's a business, right? Some people are like, I, I want to make sure, like, I, I do this or I do that to help contribute, whatever. Like, I think if I'm scoring, I'm contributing. If I have to block every single play, 65 snaps, 70 snaps, I will block to the best of my ability, 70 snaps. If I have to protect Joey B back there to make sure he gets, I will do whatever it takes to make sure that this team wins. And I think that's something that we're all buying into as an offense. And so that's what I see offensively. We're just like, yo, whoever gets the ball, we're down the field and we're gonna block and we're gonna try to spring this. Instead of it being a five, 10, 15, 20, whatever it is, we're gonna try to spring them for a 40 yard touchdown. Um, and I think that's just, that's the epitome of having a little, have a little something to you, uh, a little something extra. Did you sympathize with what Joe was going through in that game? Or it looked like it was just wave after wave of guys coming after him and him trying to make hot reads and just not getting it done? Yeah, I mean, it's frustrating. One, just not being on the field, being able to help. And two, just kind of seeing how that game transpired as a whole and how the game transpired. But, um, yeah, it, it's, it, was, it, was, uh, it was frustrating for sure. But now we're here against this defense that's so, there's multiplicity to it, everything they do, how they do it, the personnel and everything. How, how big of a weapon could a versatile tight end be against this defensive football team? Uh, yeah, I, I guess we'll find out. I don't know. Um, but, you know, you, you, we, you watch the film and, and um, certain guys and certain players and certain tight ends, certain receivers, certain, you know, personnel groupings have, have given them a little trouble. And, um, you know, they, they've been able to take advantage of it, you know, other teams. And so hopefully we're able to do the same. But um, in terms of like a singular position, I think, you know, just schematically um, how we attack them is huge. Because like you said, how multiple they are um, with Joe's ability to check certain plays that, you know, you got certain, certain plays that, that we have in the game where it's like he calls something and then at the line he just changes the play to something that he didn't say in the huddle. And we're like, oh, wow, this is a great idea. It's a great idea. Again, it's like I don't. To me, I'm like, oh, I didn't think that we could really do that, but that makes sense. And then he gets us into a good play, and we get 10 yards. We get a first down. So, I think his ability to do that outweighs, you know, certain things that that you know, certain individual matchups or certain schemes that they have and that they can present. How much, Two more does, minutes. He, how much does he do? How much of what? How much does he do? He does it a few times. He's, he he does it a few times where you're just like, oh man, wow, yeah, dope, cool. Got it. Like we're gonna we're gonna do this right now. Um, it's 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 not like it's not like an alarming amount where he's like you know contradicting the the, the, the coordinators or anything. But it's like a it's like a, hey I see this. I'm I've been and I'm in the game right now. I know the pace. I know you know we've run this play before. Like we've run the play during the game. We got a good you know it's they're lined up the exact same way. Let's just check this and do it again. Maybe it's a different formation. Maybe it's different people in the game doesn't matter he sees it and and he checks it and I get hyped when he doesn't I'm like all right I see you like back there just commanding us and, and just finding ways to to get the play make the ball for this so um it's impressive to me I I I, I hear something like that I see him doing things like that and I'm like this is this is super impressive so it's something that maybe might might be more frequent later in games than, than early just because he's seen the defense 
minutes for 20 minutes. Yeah, I mean, he can do it in the first quarter. He can do it the first drive, too, now. It's not, it's not just that, but, um, you know, I think as he gets a little more, like, he, he, he's feeling the speed of the game and stuff, and you see certain things, I think that's when it has come. That's back to the trust thing, though, because when he's doing that, he knows even though guys are in different positions, you know, different people in the positions that you have run before, he knows that guy still knows what to do. He right. knows you guys are all in your playbook and all that, so there's big trust back. Yeah, yeah, 100%. A couple of weeks ago, when you were mic'd up, you more or less predicted Jamar's 70-yard touchdown catch yep. at the end of the first half. You did it again this week at the end of the first half. Do you guys marvel? at his ability to kind of rise to the occasion in those situations and how big of a lift have you gotten from those huge plays he keeps making in the final two minutes? Oh, it's huge. I mean, it, it really is. It's, you know, his ability to stretch the defense vertically is, I mean, it's it's ridiculous. Um, again, the way he runs, and I, he's a freak. He's a freak of nature athlete. It's, it's, it's crazy. Um, I am a bit of a fortune teller, I got to say it. Uh, it was, it was fun. It was fun messing. I didn't even know he was mic'd up this week, so I've had numerous talks about, hey, you got to tell me you're mic'd up. I'm like, like what we got going here? Um, but no, he, he's, the, his, he's just maturing even more so. You know, he's, you know, it's not just the deep routes now. You see it with the intermediate routes. You see it with the short routes. You see, you know, he and Joe's chemistry, you can see how much chemistry they have, how much trust they have in one another. Um, and we all feed off of it. I get it. Again, I'm hype. I'm hype for my guys that score so uh, and make big plays, so I get hype for him. He should have scored again, by the way. He should have freaking high knees, high step something. I mean, what are we doing back there?